Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed, you're with Tesla Tom. We've just had the winter solstice here in Australia. For those who don't know what that is, the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year, with the least amount of sunlight. This year it fell on the 21st of June 2018, and I guess today I wanted to talk about whether the Powerwall 2 is good enough to tackle such a short day. Uh, first of all, just a quick reminder of my situation, I'm living here in Sydney in uh, a house which has two stories, has five bedrooms. We've got four people in the house, there are two children, and obviously it's winter currently at the moment in Sydney, so we've got the heaters running. I've got a pool pump as well that runs four hours every second day. And I've got a three kilowatt solar array and a Powerwall 2, which has a capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. So let's jump straight into it. Just a quick snapshot of uh, the weather here in Sydney for the last few days. As you can see, uh, we've got lows of around you know, seven to eight degrees at night time and during the day it hits sort of roughly mid-teens, 16 to 17 degrees. Yes, we do get winters here in Australia, mild, but still, they're cold to us anyway. So let's have a look at the Powerwall 2 data from uh, a couple of days ago. Um, as you can see here, this is about as good as it gets here in uh, winter here in Sydney. Um, the grey areas represent the energy I've used from the grid just here and here at night time and in the early morning. The green represents the uh, Powerwall 2 uh, with regards to what it's charging, what it's discharging. So if it's below the line, it means it's um, accumulating energy from the sun or the grid. And if it's um, above the line, then it's discharging for usage in the house. And obviously the yellow curve here represents uh, the solar energy uh, coming from my solar panels. So. As you can see, uh, during the day between sort of 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock, um, the en solar energy is um, covering most of the uh, house, household energy consumption. Um, it's, um, this is, like I said, this is about as good as it gets here in Sydney uh, on a winter's day, especially around this time of year when it's the uh, winter solstice. Um, so I've got a 3 kilowatt system and um, it's you know, producing about 11 to 12 kilowatt hours of uh, electricity or energy from the sun and that's about as good as it gets here in winter. Um, now at night time as you can see when everyone's home uh, and doing things uh, the, the Powerwall 2 is um, discharging and, and covering the household usage and we get to about sort of you know 10 o'clock at night time um, and that's when the heaters come on at night time so like I said we've got two children um, we've got three bedrooms that need um, heating at night time, so one for my wife and myself and then one for each child. And uh, we've got column heaters um, that are oil heaters, so they sort of got a thermostat and it comes on and off during the night depending on the temperature. So that's why we've got these little spikes here. Um, and, you know, overall the whole day, um, on this particular day, I think we used about 30 kilowatt hours worth of electricity and obviously the majority of that is coming from the heating uh, that's understandable heating is expensive and it's very energy intensive uh, but that's winter and it's a little snapshot of whether the Powerwall 2 can cope with that I think the short answer is yes um, you know it covers for most of the day um, especially in this area here where it's peak energy usage and pricing as well um, in that area, just to remind you, in Sydney, um, it's quite expensive, or in New South Wales, this area here, and I'll put up a snapshot here next to me, that area there is 59 cents per kilowatt hour, off peak, which is outside that time, which is um, the grey area, which is when I try and use the heaters, um, we're looking at you know, 16 and a half cents per kilowatt hour, so that's literally like three to four times cheaper um, using off peak grid. So that's why the Powerwall 2 is handy, um, to cover that expensive time during peak periods. And that way if you use the um, heaters at night time, it's not too bad because you're, you're using much much cheaper electricity. So uh, yeah, my short answer is yes, the Powerwall 2 is very good. And it will certainly reduce your electricity usage. And uh, you know, like this is a winter solstice starter. So uh, here in Australia we get quite a lot of sunshine. Um, I dare say one of the uh, sunniest places on earth. Um, especially in, in the developed world anyway so you know I'm pretty happy with my power wall twist so far alright guys well thanks for watching lovely day here in winter in Sydney hope it's lovely where you are as well and as always happy charging